Welcome to my schedule. Today we are going to go over the smart call and pre-booking modules. We will learn how to set up smart call and notifications, how to apply for shifts, check submissions and withdraw application. If a shift falls between the smart call hours of zero to six days out, an employee can receive an email, text message, and or phone call, depending on their preferences. And if a shift falls between the pre-booking hours of seven to 112 days out, these shifts will be received via email. It is very important that the employee bids within the submission window, as once the window has passed, late submissions will not be accepted. The submission windows are, if a shift starts today, 15 minutes. If a shift starts tomorrow, 30 minutes. If a shift starts between two and six days, three hours. If a shift starts between seven and 29 days, it'll be 24 hours. And if a shift starts between 30 and 112 days away, it will be five days. Please note that that information will be provided in the user guides as well. So let's log in. Just click log into my schedule. Again, you'll see the Infosys before my username. We'll click sign in and it will take us to the home page. One thing we would like all employees to do once they have access to smart call and pre booking is to go into their account settings and confirm and or change their preferences. So how we will get there is we're going to hover over your name in the right hand corner and you're going to click my account. Once there, you will notice various tabs at the top. The my info tab, my positions, smart call, notifications, and change password. We want all employees to click on the smart call tab and make sure to set up to their desired preferences. Once I click on the smart call tab, you will notice various preferences like do not notify me between various hours, what shifts you would like to work. I've unclicked nights here, so I only want to work days and evenings. Days of the week, I'm open Monday to Saturday, but I do not want to work Sundays. And I am available for any length of shift time. Some things you will notice on the bottom is preferences for on days I am working. You now have the choice to click whether you would like to be notified of additional shifts, including extensions, or you do not want to be notified of additional shifts including extension. Another tab is the I want to automatically submit for the shifts that fit the specified criteria above. So what that means is if you decide to do this and you click today and tomorrow's shifts, the AMGO system will then automatically bid for you based on the criteria above. One important thing to keep in mind with this preference is the settings must be turned off manually by logging into the employee portal and you doing it yourself by unclicking these or the system will continue to apply for shifts on your behalf. Please make sure whenever you update the smart call tab, you always click update my preferences so it saves. Now let's take a look at the notifications tab just beside. You will see here that you have your choice of contact methods. Next to the phone number, I've got text and call set up, but you can choose text, none, call, and also email notification here. We do suggest that employees in multiple pools have their settings via text as if they have them as phone call their phone will get multiple calls a day. Again, don't forget to update contact methods if you change anything here. So now that we have confirmed the preferences, 
Let's take a look at how to bid for shifts through the online employee portal. So how we're going to get there is we're going to be hovering over the apply for shifts here, just next to the schedule button in the top left corner. And we're going to click browse shifts. Then the calendar view will pop up and it will display available shifts and your existing schedule and the shifts and or blocks available each day. Calendar days with a blue line, like May 15th, will display your scheduled shift and leaves, whereas the available shifts and blocks will be identified with a black bar, like May 22nd. You can click on the arrows beside the month to view unfilled shifts over several months. By default, the calendar view will display all available shifts and blocks, including on days you are scheduled to work. To filter the available shifts based on your schedule, you must click Select Hide Shift on Days I'm Working option. This option will hide any shifts on days you are scheduled to work at straight time or overtime, but will display shifts on days off or days with any type of scheduled leave. The shift detailed section on the right hand side will provide all the key information about the shifts or blocks, including the shift date, the unit, facility, and the time and date of when the shift closes for submissions. There are three important buttons to know when looking and bidding for a shift, and they are the request shift button, which indicates the shift is still open. The withdraw submission button that indicates that you can withdraw your submission. Please note, this will only show up once you have put in a submission for a shift. And on June 12, 10th, you can see the processing button, which indicates that the shift is closed and this button is no longer active so you cannot bid. You will also notice a blue submissions button. This button indicates the status of the submissions on the shift or block. You can click the submissions button for information on the sorting and rank of other employees who have also applied for this shift. If you applied for the shift, your application will be highlighted in blue text as seen below. Once you have selected a shift you want to apply, so today I'm going to apply for the June 12 shift beginning at 0700, you're going to click request shift. One thing to note, you can see that this shift closes in 13 minutes. So I'm going to click the request shift button and this will open the application window. From the application window, you can se select request full shift to apply or select the X at the top right to close the application window and return to the calendar without applying. I'm going to request this shift. So again, I'm going to click request full shift. You will get a green bar at the top that shows that you've submitted successfully and you will also notice your bid at the bottom. Any submission in Smart Call can be withdrawn until the submission window has closed. In order to do so, you will see a red box that says Withdraw Submission. We're going to click this button and you will see it opens the application window and you will click Withdraw Submission. You will then get a blue bar that states you've withdrawn successfully. Please note, if, you're, if the window closes before you can withdraw your bid, your submission is considered acceptance of the shift. So now looking at June 12, I've decided I want to work, but I only want to work till 1300. So how we're going to bid for partial is we're going to again click request shift. It will open the application window and you will see here request partial shift. Once you click that, a bar will pop up with the shift hours, and you can either move the bar to the designated hours you'd like to work, 
or you can type them in yourself. Once you have entered your requested hours, you just click request partial shift. It will then confirm you've submitted successfully at the top in a green bar. And you will also see at the bottom your submission with your requested hours. Please note, only the shifts that have a P next to the shift date are eligible for partial bids. Like June 12th, there is a P here, and June 19th. Now, let's take a look at applying for blocks. Blocks are identified by the date of the first shift in the block. So you see here, June 17th, there is a four shift block. Once you click on the calendar icon, the block details will pop up on the right side. And you can click the request shift button. If you are interested in working the entire block. So again, you'll see the request shift button and that this closes in a day. So let's click request shift. It will open the application window. And I've decided I'd like to work these three days. And so I will click request entire block. Again, you will get the green bar that shows you've submitted successfully. And at the bottom, you will see your submission with requested hours for a full block. Again, you can withdraw your submission as long as the submission window has not expired. So let's withdraw from the block. You'll see the red withdraw submission button. We will click this and we will just click withdraw submission. You will get your confirmation with a blue bar saying you withdrawn successfully. Please note, blocks are not eligible for partial bids. Blocks that cannot be filled as blocks at straight time will be re-offered as individual shifts. So if you're unable to accept the entire block, check back and the days you want may be available as single shifts. Now, if you've chosen to receive text messages as your contact preference, prior to receiving your first shift offer, my schedule will send you a how to bid text message. You do not need to reply to this message. The text message notifications will provide the following shift details unit name, start and end time for the shift, shift icon, shift date and day, and the unique six digit reference number to apply for the shift. If you have selected phone call as a contact preference, my schedule will notify you via a phone call if any additional shifts are available. You can reply directly to the phone call in order to bid for a shift. If you are eligible to make submissions for more than one unfilled shift, you will hear all the applicable unfilled shifts in a single phone call rather than the system calling you multiple times in a row. The phone system will provide options to make full or partial submissions through the interactive response system. If you select partial, please enter your desired start and end time in the 24 hour format. So now that we've figured out how to bid for shifts, let's take a look at another tab under the apply for shifts here, that is the my submissions. Clicking that will then take you to search my submissions tab. You will see here the resolution status first. This allows you to view your submissions you made by the status of the following four options. Pending, you can view your submissions for shifts that are still classified as processing, meaning no awards have been made by the scheduler. Withdrawn, view the shifts that you have made a submission for, but withdrew from that submission. Granted, view shifts that have successfully been awarded to you. And denied, view shifts in which you entered a submission for, however, due to various reasons, you were not awarded. Then there's the submission method tab. This allows you to view your submissions from the platform they were entered, whether it was call, text, online, 
which would have been made directly from your My Schedule account, and Automatic, which is the submissions automatically made on your behalf through the Smart Call preferences. The next two columns are Facility and Unit. These just allow you to view specific work sites and unit for your search. And the final column is Shift Start and End Date. This allows you to view your submissions for a specific period of time if you choose to enter dates. Shifts before the specific start and after the end date will not be seen. So let's pick denied as my resolution status. I'm okay with leaving submission method as any. I'm going to click my facility as Providence Healthcare and my unit and go test unit. I'm then going to click search. You will see it will then bring you to the breakdown of your submissions and you will see the resolution on the right shows denied in red. You can then click denied and find out the reason you were denied for each shift. So May 11th, for example, I was denied because the shift callout was canceled. Let's scroll down a bit and pick the 16th. I was denied because that shift is no longer available. Another tab under the Apply for Shifts drop-down menu is the Notification Records tab. So how you get there is again hover, Apply for Shifts, and then Notification Records at the bottom. Once there, it's going to take us to the Search Notifications. Here we can specify the notification records you wish to view by entering one of the five search options. Those search options are Shift Date, result date, notification date, facility, and unit. Once you have chosen one or more of the search options, it will bring up a list of smart call shift notification records for your search criteria. So for example, all I'm going to leave is I'm going to enter the facility, again, Providence Healthcare, and the Ango test unit, and I'm going to click search. It will then give you a breakdown with the employee name, department, occupation, shift info, submission, notifications, date posted, and the result. You will notice that there may be shifts labeled as unsent. You can click the unsent button to view the reasons why you did not receive the notification. So for example, here on May 30th, it was unsent to me for one reason. Employee wants notification for day of week schedule rule. You will also notice a notification button in blue box. If you click this button, it will show you how you were notified for the shift and also how you bid. So for example, here, I was notified over the phone where I did not submit. Text, I had an error and I applied online and it is still processing. So now I'm gonna go back to the homepage. I'm just gonna click the Providence Healthcare logo at the top. This concludes the My Schedule Smart Call and Pre-Booking Education. Thank you for attending.